8,420 pounds. This is just a stunningly good looking Cougar half ton model 34 TSB here at uh, Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If you'd like to see if we have this in stock and available, please visit the link in the video description or contact our team here at Halet RV so we can advise of exactly what we have in stock. And you will find that we clearly publish pricing and we do not engage in the little hidden fees rigmarole that's uh, kind of industry standard in this business. We don't charge you extra for freight and prep and inspections and stuff like that. Uh, that's all part of the price here at Halet RV. We do everything that, you know, a dealer's supposed to. We just don't try to hide it from you with a hidden price tag. So, um, previously, you would know this as the Cougar x Light. Uh, for a while now, on the East Coast, they were calling them x Lights. On the West Coast, it was Cougar Half Ton. And they said, what are we doing? <laughs> Why are we confusing people? Why don't we just streamline this and uh, kind of line them up a little bit, not to mention... Uh, at the time of this filming, this is 20th anniversary edition. They've been building Cougars for 20 years now. There are so many other RV companies that have come and gone in 20 years, it's not even funny. Yet, here these guys are, going strong, with like huge best-in-class resale values and whatnot. And they said, you know what, 20th anniversary edition, we're pulling out all the stops. Um, and it is obviously very noticeable on their fifth wheels, which you can get a sneak peek of one back there. I'll have a video up for that in just a few minutes. But uh, well, I guess for you it'll be instantaneous by the time that you see this. Doesn't matter. Anyway, let's get into the things that make this really awesome, really attractive. One big thing, I mean, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of updates here. It's very impressive, actually. But one thing I want to hit on is that they have, like, doubled the fresh water capacity of these, basically, compared to last season's models. I think that's a really big thing because there's a lot of primitive campers. Um, now, you'll notice... One of the hiccups with having these big door side super slides and trailers and fifth wheels is it really nerfs your awning. It really cuts down your awning space. Uh, that's my old gamer terminology, nerf coming out. Anyway, you get the idea. It softens it up. Well, normally you'd only have this like little, I don't know, 8, 10 foot awning, but they mounted an additional power awning right on the super slide over here. So, and you now have more patio space with LED lighting and everything than ever before. And I talk about all the time how these are easy adjust awning arms. Not a joke. That's all it takes to level, uh, to, to angle this and to level it back out. And if you leave that arm angled and you roll the awning in, it'll sort itself out. It won't break. Now, when I peek through the pass through, you got to see that uh, uh, all aluminum skeleton. This is double sided welded aluminum skeleton. Now, uh, the, the roof is not actually um, uh, aluminum beams, it's galvanized steel. But what a, you'll hear me refer to something sometimes as all aluminum went off and it may have galvanized steel roof trusses. It's kind of a semantical point. What people are usually looking to find is, is it wood or not? There's nothing wrong with wood trusses, by the way, but here they went uh, lighter. They actually have like a fifth wheel roof construction. You can see how it wraps over because the truss beams are actually double arched. That means that you don't have an insulation gap on the corners because a lot of roofs that have a flat interior ceiling and an arched outside, they start real thin on the sides and then they get thick in the middle and then they get thin again. This is consistent all the way around. So consistent insulation, strength, integrity, everything. And oh, just setting the tone, setting the tone with that graphic package up front. You got that um, raised bubbled Cougar emblem up front. I'm loving this. I haven't seen stuff like this on a travel trailer ever at Halet RV and holy crap do we carry a lot of different brands here. So this whole spot down here in the bottom like if you went and had a car like z barted or like um you know truck bed sprayed that's basically what this stuff is right here so you've got like one of the industry's tallest stone guards now on the front of this and it had it before but it was cream on cream and you couldn't see it boy if you can't see it now i don't think you should be driving that's not safe so uh you've got the dual power awnings you've got uh push button power tongue jack you've also got uh, full automatic uh, stabilizers. And Cougar was the first brand in fifth wheels to offer automatic leveling as a standard. And they are now the first brand in travel trailers to offer it as standard. Now it's still on a per floor plan basis. To do automatic leveling, they completely have to re-engineer a chassis to handle the new stress and load demands. And Keystone is very big on making sure they don't make knee jerk big changes if it doesn't perform they don't do it uh so that's that's one of the things i like now this floor plan uh other than the very first couple have almost always had automatic leveling one of our own rv salesman his name's aaron that works here this is his floor plan he saw it roll in a few minutes ago and went oh i wish i'd have waited six months <laughs> it had that kind of impression even on the people that do this every day so if that doesn't give you confidence the guy that actually camps 
you know, the guy that sells these things, this is one of the brands he chose to take home. He's had a Rockwood, he's had a Jayco. He saw this and goes, wow, wow, this is impressive. So um, you've got your little solar charge, uh, solar trickle charge plug here. You've got easy access to your docking switch lights. Your auto leveling system is all right here. Mr. Aaron actually was kind enough to do a demo video on his Cougar auto leveling in case you're curious. You can give us a call or give Aaron a call. Now, uh, we've got our handy battery disconnect switch here. That's a nice little touch so that all this fancy pants electronic stuff, it'll drain a battery quick if you're not paying attention. Now you don't have to worry about it. So we've got a fully enclosed forced air heated underbelly. They've got a huge 30,000 BTU furnace, which is not matched by many brands. Uh, most of the other things in this category that have the same size furnace are other Keystone products. Um, the uh, roof, you can walk all over it. It's all kinds of, you know, structural. Uh, your, your slide outs here. Now this is a rack and pinion slide, but uh, a lot of your slides are lighter duty cable slides. And cable slides are an oft misunderstood thing in this business. Um, suffice to say, it is the lightest and least warrantied uh, slide system on the market, period. Now there's some other things uh, Cougar does to their slide outs. Like they use this like hammered tin type skin here, basically. It's got that cottage cheesy look and it pulls their double wipe seals really taut so that this thing gets a good clean seal and they use double seals, not one. And behind the second seal, there's actually an aluminum C channel like rain gutter that shunts water when you're running the slide in. It shunts water away from the slide, away from penetrating your camper and just dribbles harmlessly outside. Another little keystone difference, the little things they do that others don't, uh, there's a little groove on the bottom of this slide trim right here. That's so that when water drips down, it hits this uh, groove. Water without help cannot go up. It can only go down. It'll hit that. It'll bead. It'll drip. It won't wick into your subfloor. And little things like that, I, I think, are some of the reasons why this has been a DSI Quality Award winner for the last three consecutive years and counting. And I'll be shocked if it doesn't happen a fourth time because uh, from our own service department, these guys have been great. And the very rare time we have had to call Keystone on any of the Keystone brands that we care here, whether it's Summerlin, Springdale, Passport, uh, Cougar, Montana, Fusion, Impact, we're big in the Keystone business because these guys are building a great quality product. And the rare time you got to call them, they are all over it. They're one of the very few brands that actually does have a warehouse uh, of a, a subset of their parts on hand for quick fulfillment to get a customer back on the road. That's not normal. You, do, you take that for granted. You think that's how it works. That is not how the camping business usually works. So last year, their fifth wheels had this folding cargo travel rack, which has a handy little bike rack post on it, but their trailers didn't have it. And people go, why? I... It's a travel trailer. Why don't I get the travel fun stuff? So they said, you got it, guys. We listened. Uh, the ladder on the back takes you up to your roof for your seasonal maintenance upkeep. This has a low profile outside kitchen because what that creates is an additional sleeping space and extra storage space on the inside of the RV. They didn't want to sacrifice family space for this. I like that extra little shelf up in there. It, it's a uh, perfect little place to keep your phone and stuff out of the way. And they've updated, instead of the, the cheap little cooktops, they said, you know what? Let's give them a capital grill. Let's give them some something nice and shiny they can actually cook on. And when you're not using it, it's flatter and it's wider. It makes for better, just like countertop space. Outside TV hookups over here, always handy. I already talked about the easy adjust awnings. The windows, they're uh, all UV tinted for uh, privacy. It keeps the RV cooler um, and they, they get better airflow with the sliding window panels. Let's, oh, steps. Aluminum entry steps versus steel. They've been doing this for a little bit, but suffice to say, these are stronger. They fight corrosion because there's less steel, basically. Um, and you can see them better at night. They're brighter, so uh, plus they don't slip inside. It's like an aluminum boat dock. Friction hinged entry door does not slam against the side of the trailer when the kids or the wind decide to really whip it. Whip it good. Do, 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 do. Anyway. Inside, there are different interior decors. This is one example. Cougar usually gives you two options. You got lighter and you got darker. And this is darker. They're both brown neutrals. This one's a little bit darker. The other one's a little bit lighter. Um, they both look good. They actually both have the exact same uh, accent in them at the time of this filming. Little things like that change over time, though. So keep in mind that the one that we have in stock, again, may not be this specific trailer. And with the popularity of this brand, with the volume of our sales, um, chances are this is not going to be the one that we have in stock as the year rolls on. So call our team, visit the link in the Halo RV video description here, and uh, you can see exactly what we have, what we are asking, no fees, no nonsense, etc. Uh, okay, so 
a lot of brands have this style of camper. I call it the backwards bunkhouse because it used to be the super slide was on this side. Then you get a tiny little island kitchen slide over here. And it seemed great, but the problem was it just, like, it never had a good living room. It had great sleeping, you know, and it was long, like this, but the living room was crap. Well, they fixed that. And what they did here is, by doing this, by putting the super slide over here like a fifth wheel, we've got all these windows looking at your campsite instead of looking at you know, the side of, like, why do you want to look at your neighbor's campsite? You want to look at your campsite. That's why you went camping, right? Well, now you can. It's easy to keep an eye on the kids, whatever. Um, well, the other thing Cougar did is instead of making it just a kitchen slide, they made it a kitchen entertainment super slide. And this right here is a huge area where this floor plan stands um, like uh, without competition because there's similar layouts out there, but no one else has given it this huge uh, living room, like, it's got, like, a middle living room, effectively, is, is what it is, which is uncommon, but these guys did it. Now, little detail stuff I love. Notice how the refrigerator insert is the same, uh, like, uh, mesh-looking, uh, metal as the skirting of the camper. They tied the inside and outside of this together. There's, there's not a disconnect between inside and outside, and it's little design things like that, like little decor things. Look at this. I go, wow, you guys are just, oh, you're on it. Like the little accent colored batten strips to really help you understand this has that vaulted ceiling, because I don't use tricky fisheye camera lenses. I want you to buy from Halo RV because you choose to, not because I tricked you into doing it. You know, that's why we put all our cards on the table, whether it's pricing, whether it's inventory. We don't do bait and switch. We don't jerk you around. We're campers too. You know, I go camping myself. We'll come back to the kitchen. So they made the TV as big as is humanly possible within that space. I think Bob Vila was in, in, involved in getting that thing squeezed in there. Uh, I mean, you almost have to use a little bit of uh, Crisco and cooking oil to get that thing out. It is like perfectly fit. <laughs> electric space heating fireplace below. And that's like a bigger fifth wheel. They standardized that with the bigger 5120 BTU heater. There's nothing wrong with the 4000 BTU uh, electric heaters, but this is bigger, better, warmer. And um, it uh, it just has LED visuals too. So if you want to just turn on the cool look of a fireplace, but it's midsummer and you don't feel like sweating, well, you can do that too. Um, what's kind of cool about the way their TV swings out is it allows a couple things, like it allows storage back here. You can kind of see the little DVD shelves. It also means you can get to the back of the TV to get to the plugs and things, which is tricky. Now, when I finish up the living room on the way through, you see this like refrigerator sized pantry, bonus overflow storage, whatever this needs to be, it is. That is involved and that is impressive. Now, one of the options on the RV that we have here, and this is pretty much how we like to stock them, I've seen a lot of dealers, they stock this with a hide -a bed and I, I never understood why. And I think it's because they're using old school thinking on a new style floor plan. Um, again, maybe that's the advantage we have at Halo RV of actually camping ourselves is we can put ourselves, you know, imagine ourselves, put ourselves in this. Well, you've got all the bunk space in the world back there. You've got all the sleeping in the world back there. Why would you buy a floor plan that has an enhanced living room and not enhance the living room? So instead of a hide-a-bed or a jackknife type sofa, we like to throw a, a big dual uh, reclining wall hug and theater seat in there. That's the king and the queen's throne. That's mom and dad's spot right there. And they are sitting on Boardwalk and Park Place directly across from this gorgeous extended entertainment center with a, uh, a, mo a home theater sized flat screen in front of them, like something that came out of the Montana Luxury Fifth Wheel Series. This is terribly, awesomely impressive. Um, bigger air conditioner on these usually too. Uh, 15,000 BTU instead of 13.5, so it gives you that extra cooling power. This floor plan is always, always 50 amp service standard. So if you choose to add a second air conditioner, it would be installed up in the bedroom. You can do that. We can give you a quote on that through Halet RV's Parts and Service Center here. We only do everything at Halet's. Hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery thing, and uh, delivery and everything in between. 300 pound, best in class rated, overhead bunk. Now, a lot of bunks have this like, it'll it'll pop up and it'll just kind of be on an angle. But the guy at Cougar's like, move bunk, get out the way. This thing fully flush mounts away so that you have a true like, Second living room, daytime living room, extended living room experience. So here we've got a fold down storage sleeper sofa. There is storage below the seating and it can fold down into an additional bunk space. But during the day, 
Now we've got the kids' master suite, guest room in here. This is something you don't normally get. You can throw an extra screen up here if you're so inclined. There's plenty of room to add little kitty electronics if you allow them to do that. But storage, Batman. Holy crap, storage, Batman. Look at that. You got uh, all kinds of drawers for the kids, socks and underwear. It's all pocket screwed cabinetry. It's not staple. It's going to last as you bounce down the road. You've even got their own dedicated closet storage. Remember on the back side of that is refrigerator size storage. This whole chunk of the trailer is just straight storage. So now the kids stuff stays in the kids room. It doesn't bleed into the living room. Now remember that low profile outside kitchen that allows for the inclusion of not one but two big kid upper bunks. Um, these are wider, about 50%-ish wider. I've never hard measured them, but they're wider bunks that are really good for tall kids because they can kind of sleep corner to corner on them, get some extra space in there. And here's another really cool detail. You've got one switch lighting convenience for your main cabin lights in every room of this coach. A lot of travel trailers only give you that in the living room, if they give it to you at all. This does it in the living room, the bedroom, the bathroom, and every room. Uh, the, let's finish off uh, the other chunk of our super slide. Have you noticed, by the way, all the windows are equally sized and symmetrical? Like, they're, you can split the slide in half and it looks the same. I like symmetry. I like things that line up. I like that, personally. So over here in the kitchen, we've got a, uh, a, a little bit bigger, 8 cubic foot fridge freezer. Gas electric, so it's super travelers friendly. Now we've got um, pressed membrane molded thermal foil countertops. This is a little change over uh, previous generations that had solid surface right here. This effectively does the exact same thing as solid surface. It's waterproof. You can recess the stainless sink. You can have a, a like flush mount stove and, and sink. All the same function is here, but it's lighter weight. And this is a, a big floor plan. And they said, you know, we want to be a weight sensitive product so that people can tow it. And they've accomplished that. Now, at a glance, you look at this, you're like, whatever. Uh, not, not a whole lot of kitchen going on. Remember that we've got this ridiculous fridge size pantry space over here. Now, when you start looking, anywhere you see countertop, there has to be storage below it, just by default. So when you look over here, they didn't waste the spot below the oven. They gave you four full extension drawers there. When I flip around, you can see that there's full storage space below the sink, beside the sink, under the sink, everywhere, anywhere, there's all kinds of storage with four more full extension drawers over here. Then you take a glance, you're like, oh my God, there's more storage below the booth over here. It just never quits. It just never quits. It's awesome. Now you've got outlets for appliances, for phone charging. That's why that little nook is here. That's You've got appliances over here, coffee makers, toasters, whatever. You got a little cross breeze window to let some extra light in. They didn't forget anything. They only did everything in this camper. It is awesome. Now, right next to the door, you have, oh, did you notice? Did you see that light kick on? I forgot to mention, this is a motion activated light. Let me see if I can back up enough that I can, nah, I can't back up enough to get it to work. But as you walk in the door, that light kicks on. As you're walking to the bathroom, as you're walking to your bedroom, that light kicks on. A few seconds later, it turns off. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll remember later and I'll, I'll be past it long enough, it'll kick itself off. So, entry door, straight to the bathroom. This is a very traveling friendly big bunkhouse because you can get to the bathroom facilities very quickly and easily. Um, so right when you walk in here, you'll notice you have a dual entry bathroom. You've got a sliding pocket privacy door to cut this off from the bedroom. So if uh, you got your teenage daughter in here, dad, she's taking a shower. You know, you don't want to scar her for life by walking through and embarrassing her. You can keep this all closed off. And notice too, she doesn't have to do the, oops, I forgot my towel naked streak through the camper. And she doesn't have to yell for her little brother and, and again, scar them both for life. And now you're paying for therapy. Now you can't afford your camper payment. Now you're upset. Now you have your own therapy. Isn't it amazing how that one little cabinet just avoided your whole family falling apart in my head? I, I, I think maybe I need some therapy because that was, that's disturbing. Anyway, <laughs> bigger radius shower bigger radius shower and between the vaulted ceiling and that skylight this is big guy big lady big person friendly and there's plenty of elbow room in here like i can turn around and my elbows never hit anything with this bigger radius shower there's small showers and then there's big showers and this is the big one even bonus storage below the sink they just don't waste anything at cougar um bigger sink too for adult hands not a small counter a big sink um porcelain foot flush stool I'm doing some terrible camera work here. I'm just, I'm focused on this camper because this is exciting. 
uh, you know, just, you can actually clean this. You can scrub it, you know, you're not going to wear it out. Now we walk up front to this private master suite. One thing I want to mention again, every room has its own light switch. It just, it just makes more sense. You want to add a second AC? Bang! Throw it right in here. Mom and Dad, you're going to be breathing icicles. Throw a TV on the wall if you're so inclined, just like the bunkhouse. Now another thing they did here. This has a king bed. This has a cougar camping king. It's wider, gives you more space. You can lift this, there's storage below it. But what, even though it's a wider bed, it's still easy to walk around. They, they did this seamlessly. I've seen other brands try to go to king beds and it just didn't work. But where they don't, cougar does, you know? And where the other dealers don't, Hala does. Like where they don't publish pricing, we do. Um, you know, where they don't give you real pricing and they have hidden fees, uh, we give you real pricing, you know? All these extra things they don't, we do. It's the same with Cougar. Uh, I, I think that's why it's been such a good pairing for us. We have a lot of similar philosophies and ideologies on this stuff. So, if this looks cool, if this looks... Well, I mean, it looks cool. That's, that's not the question. If it looks like the one for you, if this video was useful, entertaining, if you hate my voice, hit the mute button and replay it and just enjoy the visuals. Whatever the case may be, all I ask is just the opportunity to earn your family's business here at My Family's Dealership. We are Michigan's largest standalone independent RV dealer. Nobody owns a place but us. Um, you know, I'm one of the boss's kids. My brother's our service manager. Dad's in the office every day. We are a family owned operated outfit. We go camping so we know camping. All we need is the opportunity to serve you and your family. Give us that chance. If we fail you, it's our fault, not yours. But if you don't call, man, you could be giving up a lot of money. You know, you could be giving up a lot of money. And I don't care where you live. These are on wheels. We can get them there. So give us the chance. 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone.